now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Governor Gavin Newsom has expanded the state's drought emergency proclamation to 50 out of 58 counties. The governor also issued an executive order gently asking Californians to voluntarily curb their water use by 15 percent. Representative Doris Matsui was in Sacramento today promoting the Trees Act, a plan to bring more trees to the nation. She wants to plant 300,000 new trees across the nation to help address climate change. Napa County coroners now know the identity of the man who drowned last week at Lake Berryessa. The victim is 25-year-old Marcos Pocasagre, a citizen of Guatemala. This is the second drowning in the last nine days. California K-12 students who fell behind in school during the pandemic are getting a chance to fix their bad grades. A law recently signed by the governor allows students to either repeat their grade or choose a pass-fail grading system. Fans will be banned from stadiums in the Tokyo area when the Olympic Games begin in two weeks. The decision came after the capital was put under a COVID-19 state of emergency because of new infections from the highly contagious Delta variant. The Department of Homeland Security says it's closely monitoring conditions in Haiti after the nation's president was assassinated yesterday. Haitian officials say they were well-trained mercenaries who somehow broke into the president's home. Gun purchases and gun violence surged dramatically during the first five months of the COVID-19 pandemic. A UC Davis study says from March through July 2020, gun purchases went up by 85 percent and gun injuries increased by 27 percent. NBA Summer League is returning to Sacramento next month. It's the third annual California Classic at Golden One Center, August 3rd and 4th. The Kings welcome the Lakers, Warriors, and Heat. Tickets on sale Monday. The San Juan Unified School District will offer free meals to all students when they return to school in the fall. All families are asked to complete one school funding form per family. And the city of Sacramento is opening three cooling centers through Monday because of the upcoming triple-digit heat. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.